Here is what you will need to make your crafty rainbow rattle. Three colors of worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn brand in the colors. Deep teal, I believe this is rose, and antique gold. A 4.0 or G millimeter crochet hook. This one is Clover Amore brand, which is my favorite hook brand that I always use. A rattle insert. This will be linked in the description, but it's also throughout the blog post that goes with this pattern. A pair of scissors, a tapestry needle for sewing in your ends, and some polyfill to stuff your rainbow. Here is what our rattle is going to look like when it's finished. I'll just be using some different colors instead of these so you can get an idea of the size that we're going after. I will be sure to include measurements throughout the pattern as well for my gauge friends. I also made a rainbow rattle using I Love This Yarn, which is another Hobby Lobby brand, and it's 100% acrylic yarn. Um, sizing turned out to be very close to the same. They're both um, size 4 or worse to weight yarn. I just feel like with baby rattles, I like to stick to a more natural fiber, and that's why I choose cotton over the synthetic acrylic yarn. Good thing about this pattern is you could probably use any yarn and hook combo that you would like. Um, your rainbow might just turn out to be a different size than mine, which is totally fine because it's just a little toy and it doesn't have to actually fit any babies. So feel free to get creative with different yarns and different hook sizes when you make your crafty rainbow rattles. Go ahead and choose which color you would like to start with. This will be the smallest amount of yarn color that you use. You will use less of this color than any other color throughout making this rattle. So even if you just have a small scrap of a color that you like, you can probably get by with it with this pattern. I will be using this antique gold, just the same as I did over here. And I'm just gonna leave this guy in the frame so we can see what we're doing as we do it. We're gonna start by making a slip knot Just like that. Insert our G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and then we're going to chain 11. We're going to single crochet 9 back down the chain but we're going to be putting our stitches in the back bump so normally we would go here under one of the loops in our chain, but we are just going to tilt this over so we can see the back of our chain, and we will be inserting our hook right here and under this loop back here, which is our back bump. That's where we will put our nine single crochets all the way down the chain. You may notice that when I crochet, I yarn under instead of the typical yarn over. This just makes my single crochets twist a little bit, changes the look just a little, and changes the size a tiny, tiny bit. I don't think it will affect the overall outcome of this rainbow rattle if you crochet by yarning over or yarning under. After you do your nine single crochets and you are back down here to our first chain, we're going to put six single crochets in that same spot. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and next we are going to single crochet nine back down the other side of our starting chain, just like we did before, but going down the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
and our last one for nine. This gives us 24 single crochet stitches on the first row. So this is the first row. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to put one single crochet in the next nine stitches. Then we're going to single crochet increase in the next six stitches. So just two single crochets in the same spot. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. And six and next we are going to end with nine single crochets back down. We will have 30 single crochet stitches in row two chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to do row three, which is our first bobble row. We're going to start by putting a single crochet right here in the first stitch and a bobble stitch is going to go right here in the next space. To create the bobble, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. You're going to do that three more times for a total of four times all in the same hole. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, grab, pull up, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time. After you do that four times, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook and then you're going to go directly into your next single crochet after you pull through all. You do not chain right here. We're just going to go right into our next single crochet. Give our working yarn a tug to make sure that bobble is super tight and pops out on the front and finish out your single crochet. Then we're going to do another bobble stitch here in the next stitch. And then going directly into our single crochet in the next stitch. You will see that we are. this is the wrong side of our rainbow and this is the right side since this is the side where the bobbles pop out. You're going to do that all the way around for row three ending over here and I will show you what to do at the end because it is a little funky. Okay, I just finished my last bobble stitch in this row, and you can see I have two single crochet stitch spaces left. I don't like ending on a bobble at the end of the row. I feel like it would make my line down here wonky and make joining at the very bottom a little bit harder. So I will just end with two single crochets instead of a bobble, so one Two, giving us a total of 30 stitches in this row. There were no increases, but you know, instead of finishing out that second crochet right there, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. But before we grab our yarn and pull through two, I'm going to switch colors to my pretty rosy pink color. And I will grab my pink and pull through two and then chain one and turn my work and get ready for row four. For row four, we're gonna start by single crocheting nine 
one time in the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four. Nine, okay, and we can go ahead and cut our first color and get it out of the way. After we single crochet nine, we are going to increase in the next stitch. So right here, we will be putting two single crochets in the same spot for an increase. And then we will single crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that five more times for a total of six increases. So we're gonna increase, then single crochet. That's two. Increase. Then single crochet, that's three. Increase. Single crochet, that's four. Five. And six. And then we are going to end by single crocheting one time in the next nine stitches. Seven, eight, nine, giving us a total of 36 single crochets in the row. Chain one and turn your work. Now we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around again for a total of 36 single crochets. Once we get back to the very end of the row, we're going to chain one and turn our work. For row six, we are going to single crochet one time in the next nine stitches. And then we're going to do another increase row. And the, the last increase row we did increase single crochet. This time there's gonna be two single crochets in between each increase. But instead of starting with the increase, I start with the single crochets. So we're gonna go single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then put our increase in the next stitch. For one, we're gonna repeat that five more times. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. That's two. That's three. Four. Five, now one more. Six. Then we just have our nine single crochets left to finish out this row. That gives us 42 single crochet stitches for row six. Then we are just going to chain one and turn our work. And now we have another bobble row for row seven. Over here on this row, we started with a single crochet and then a bobble, and then we ended with a bobble and then two single crochets. So to keep everything balanced, we are going to start with single crochet, single crochet, then bobble on this side. That way, when we get our finished rattle, our bobbles kind of go back and forth 
which ones are up and which ones are down. That way one whole side of our rainbow doesn't have higher bobble rows than the other side. So for this row, we're gonna start with single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're gonna do our bobble stitch. Again, that's yarn over. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. That's four, then we're going to yarn over, pull through all the loops on our hook, and then go directly into our single crochet. Do not chain after pulling all of, pulling through all the loops on your hook for the bobble. Just go directly into the single crochet. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. Single crochet, bobble stitch, single crochet, bobble stitch. And we are going to end on a single crochet right after a bobble stitch. Just have one more bobble stitch and then one single crochet left. Insert my hook into the next stitch for the single crochet, but instead of finishing it out, I'm going to cut my pink yarn, get it out of the way, and grab my deep teal and pull through the two loops. Chain one and turn your work. For row eight, we're gonna start by single crocheting one time in the next nine stitches. Then we are going to put an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same spot and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Two, three, and that is our repeat. We will do that five more times for a total of six increases. So increase in the next stitch, and then one, two, three, that's two, increase. One, two, three, that's three, increase, one, two, three, that's four, increase, one, two, three, that's five, increase, one, two, three, that's six, now we've got nine single crochet stitches left in this row. That gives us 48 single crochet stitches in the row. We're going to chain one, turn our work. For row nine, we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch Again, for a total of 48 single crochets in the row. Okay, after we finish our 48 single crochet stitches in the row, we can chain one and turn our work. For row 10, we are going to single crochet one time in the next nine stitches. Then we are going to start our repeat. We're gonna single crochet four, one in the next four stitches, and then we're gonna do our increase. One, two, three, four, and then increase. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six increases. One, two, three, four, 
increase, that's two. Two, three, four, increase, that's three. Four. Five, and one more time. Increase, that's six. And then we are going to single crochet one time in the next nine stitches. That will give us a total of 54 single crochet stitches in the row. We're going to chain one and turn our work. For row 11, which is our last row on the front piece, and it is a bobble row. You can remember we did, we started over here with single crochet, single crochet bobble. So for this row, we're just gonna do one single crochet stitch and then our bobble stitch in the next space. And then another single crochet stitch, and then bobble all the way across until we get to this side and we will be ending with bobble, single crochet, single crochet. And we will do that when we get to the end. Okay, I just finished my last bobble, and you can see I've got two stitches left, and I'm going to put a single crochet in each of those two stitches. And now we can cut our yarn and tie off. This is what we have so far. This is the front piece of our Crafty Rainbow Rattle. Let's go ahead and get out our trusty tape measure and take some measurements for you guys. I'm going to measure on the back side so my bobbles aren't in the way. We are looking at about five and a quarter, between five inches and five and a quarter for the width. For the height, we've got four and three quarters. To make the back piece of your crafty rainbow rattle, you do the exact same thing we just did for the front piece, but you don't change colors, unless you just want to, and you don't do the bobble stitches, you just do single crochets for every single stitch. Um, I chose to not change colors in this design, so when you go to make these to sell in your Etsy shops or at markets. You can crank them out much faster and use less materials if you don't have to keep switching colors and tying in all of those tails. That is why I did it this way. Plus, if you have a tag that you could put on the bottom, it would really stand out nicely on a solid back than it would with a striped back. Another thing to know before you make your back piece, if your back piece is slightly smaller than your front piece, that's because you don't have the bobble stitches. They take up a little bit more space than a single crochet stitch would, but that's totally fine. When we go to assemble the, the rattle together, the back piece will stretch enough to attach to the front piece when we go to stuff it and attach it. So don't worry about it. If it's a little bit smaller in size, it's no big deal. Go ahead and replay this video. If you need instructions again for how to make the back piece, and then I will come back after I make my back piece and we will assemble these guys and stuff them and add our rattle inserts. I just finished working on my back piece to my rainbow rattle and now we are going to attach them together. So we're going to put the right side down for the front and the right side up for the back. And you can see my back piece is a smidgen smaller than the front piece, which we've already talked about, and it is totally fine. After I finished my last stitch on the back piece, I'm gonna go ahead and chain up one, and then put my back piece on top of my front piece, like this. 
Then go into the first stitch on the front piece, into the first stitch on the back piece, grab my yarn again, give it a little tighten, and then pull it through both of those stitches. And then chain one to hold it there. Now we're just going to single crochet back into those two first stitches. So the first stitch on the front piece and the first stitch on the back piece. And we are going to put a single crochet there. And we are going to continue to single crochet the front and back pieces together while making sure we line up all of the stitches. After you single crochet the front and back pieces together, it should have taken 54 stitches since there were 54 stitches in the last rows of both the front and back pieces. And now is the time when I usually like to sew in my tails. So I will go ahead and do that now by pulling out a big loop here and then flipping this guy inside out. Grab my tapestry needle and I usually start with this middle piece back here. And you just poke it from the front to the back and then sew it in once on the back. Okay, and now I'll come down here and give these a little tighten, but not too tight because you don't want to pucker this side of your rainbow. And go ahead and sew them in. I'm going to switch needles. That one's driving me crazy. Here we go. Okay. And I will be sewing in all of these little tails, and I will do most of it off screen. But I'll do a little bit here with you guys so you can see my process that I do, just in case you're not quite familiar with sewing in tails. It's a lot easier with a tapestry needle than it is with just a crochet hook. Okay, I will do the rest of them off camera and I will come back when they're all sewn in and we will stuff our rainbow, insert our rattle, and finish it off. Okay, all my tails have been sewn in and now we can get ready to stuff this guy and insert our little rattle noisemaker. I learned a trick with the polyfill. If you pull apart your polyfill before you stuff it into your pillow or your rattle or your amigurumi. It helps give your finished piece some better shape. It doesn't get all clumpy in any areas as much. So if you've got time to sit here and pull these apart for a little bit, that will make your stuffing go more smoothly. It's a little time consuming, but it makes for a really nice finished piece. So I just pull apart some and then stuff it and then pull apart some and then stuff it until it's full. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and after I do my first hunk of stuffing, I will shove my noisemaker down right in the center of that. And then go back to pulling apart my stuffing so I finish it off. Okay, set this aside. Now we can crochet closed the opening down here since our rainbow is fully stuffed and if we see that we need to add some more stuffing while we close the side we can do that. We're going to insert our crochet hook right where we left off. And we're going to start by putting two single crochets in that same spot where this last one is, in the, this one, and then in the back also. So I'm going to go in this spot, and then in this spot where the stitch is already at, and put two more stitches in that same space. Single crochet stitches. And that's just going to round that corner nicely and we will do the same thing when we get to this corner. We're going to single crochet across making sure to line up the stitches as we go and the only thing is this is the raw edge of our work so we will have to make our own spots for our hook to go but it's really not that bad. The main thing is that you just keep your front and back pieces lined up together. That's our third single crochet. Here's four. and I'm just going to continue going all the way across and I will give you the total of stitches at the end because I'm not even sure at this point what the total is going to be. I'm at 22 single crochet stitches across. I'm going to put 23 right here. And then 24 and 25 will go back in the same spot as our very first single crochet. Join in the top of our very first single crochet and cut our yarn. Now I like to give it a squish and a wiggle to help the polyfill Disperse evenly throughout the whole rattle. Okay, so in our last tail here, and then we've got ourselves a little rainbow baby rattle. Mm -hmm. 